right. How are we doing today? Is everybody having a good one, huh? You doing well? It's me and the duck. And today we're going to be playing some wonderful Plan B Terraform. Now, as you recall, last time we hit a wonderful, wonderful, yes, 10,000. Holy buckets of hot sheep. I know. I felt absolutely phenomenal to actually finally hit that. And now we're going to just continue to, you know, just continuing to increase and then going more and more. And we ran into a lot of problems with sustainability, but hey, we can figure it out, okay? We can figure it out. We can. So let's, let's figure out what's going on. Oh, Sin's here. Well, holy buckets of hotness. Hot sheep, goodness gracious, welcome, Sin. And this is just one of the perfect opportunities to make sure that I have Restream up because we know what happens every time that I don't have it up, uh, which is almost every game. Yep, that's unfortunate, but it happens a lot. So let's just see here. Um, I think we've got it there. Good, it's on the overlay. Let's jump into this to see where everything is at. Sin, hopefully you're having a good day. We're trying to hit 20K. So we're gonna show you what we have here. We've got this wonderful new village, and you can see that it's it's somewhat getting what it needs to self-sustain at this ability. Um, the trucks here are trying to pull as much as they can, and one of the big things that I found out in this game is that there's not much of a way to do with water until you, of course, get to that point. And so we have been stockpiling it. Yes, I know. Is this a little ridiculous? Is it a little overkill? Not really, considering there is that much water. So I've continued to pile up the water until I'm able to get rid of the water. Uh, and eventually it'll, it'll be worth something, I'm sure. So that's basically what we have. Um, water. Oh, 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 that's the wrong one, isn't it? That needs to be oxygen. Sorry, oxygen is piling up. And we have been trying to figure out how to get rid of it, which, good news, good news now, okay? We're going to be able to get rid of it. We just need to build. Are you ready for this? You ready? We need to build a greenhouse. The greenhouse will take the water, but the problem is, is to get the greenhouse, we of course need to then build, uh, it needs to take nitrogen to make the food and whatnot. So if you look here, you got food. The food needs compost and needs water. These are all things that we have to get. In order to get the nitrogen, okay, we, the compost, whatever structure, it's going to need car two carbon and one nitrogen. So we need to get that. We need to build this. We can build it from reinforced concrete and mechanical parts, and it just so happens that we have that down here. We've got a shish kebab full of this wonderful thing. So here's my idea. We've got steel bars here, and we've got mechanical parts. We need to take these steel bars and turn them into wonderful, wonderful reinforced concrete. So let's grab this, let's put that there. Let's grab another one. Um, is that gonna reach there? Yeah, it'll reach one, two, good. It'll get there. So he'll be able to pull there. And then I'm gonna think how to get that to us now. <coughs> now that's the question, because you gotta frog hop every little jibby jabber here. This is another thing, we're running out of depot MK2s. Problematic. But we'll, we'll figure it out. So I need to get this over there, and I need to probably build that to begin with. So aluminum bar is right here. And I need polymer. And I think we were doing that, weren't we? Oh, no, no, we were building this. Okay, so let's switch this over. We're going to switch this over to depot. And can we get... Do we got everything we need? Good. Okay. So that is making us depots. We are already good as golden. We got 34 greenhouses. Now we should be fine. Should be able to frog hop that thing. I might grab a few more. What the heck? Let's grab, let's grab one more. Just for safe measure. And these guys right here. Oh, I've got my steam things on. They always seem to pop up like crazy. Okay, so we need to get this. 
And we need that to get aluminum bar, which we'll pull over and then do that MK2. And then we could switch this back. We could switch it back to the lovable greenhouse later, if we're gonna need that much. This is currently the population, just over 10,000. And it's nice from where we, you know, we started to get. I'm, I'm overboarding right now a little bit, but that's okay. It's okay to overboard as long as, you know, um, you've got the truck space. So game looks interesting. You might have to check it out. It is really nice. It's, you know, I talked to the, the developer recently. I tried to get his attention on Steam and uh, he responded. He seems to be very busy, but seems like a nice guy. At least he, he said that uh, he's got a lot of comments and a lot of people that are liking this. So I think that this has some promising development. So that's going to be good. So let's build this extractor. We've got these making steel bars, and then all we need to do is take these steel bars and make this. So let's see. Reinforced concrete. I don't know if I can I take it from this spot. Will it be okay? See, it's not even with all of these running, because all of these ones are making reinforced concrete, it's not doing good enough. And our steel bars now aren't bringing enough either. So we need to up those. I have a ton of trucks here. Let's do another 20 and let's check on those steel rods. Is that still fine? Oh yeah, it's still absolutely fine. These are continually pushing back. As I said before, it's not self-sustaining. Eventually you're going to have to move and come through and, and kind of do this. Now, I don't know if we get to a certain technological spot where that doesn't happen, maybe, but I don't know. But um, hopefully we'll figure that out because it's kind of, it's tough to keep having to move. I don't want to move anymore. You know? Let's move this over here. That one should be good. I'll need him to get to that. Let's do a few more guys right there. And that should keep them pretty happy. I think that they're going to be fine because they're frog hopping kind of halfway around it. Here's our train systems. They're bringing some goodies down here. And of course we were making, you know, this makes more sense just to make it here. I think this makes more sense. Yeah, I'm liking that idea better. The reinforced concrete, we have an overabundance for right now, so we can shut it off. The mechanical parts, all we need to do is take the factory here. That makes more sense. So let's do that. Let's do factory, make me mechanical parts, and instantly from the factory, make me then... Oops, no, wrong one. Assembly, that's the wrong, the wrong part now. No, we don't need that. Get that the frick out of here. Okay. Ice extractor. There we go. And then once, you know, it gets out of hand, we can just shut it off. But for now, at least we can get those rolling. We got this one guy dedicated to just that. And he still has problems making stuff. Come on. Get rocking, buddy. Um, is he going to be able to get there now? Probably not. I'm trying to be cheaper, you know? Okay, so I think he's able to make it. Yeah. All this guy needs is mechanical parts, and that's what these guys are making, right? Oh, it won't do it. See, here I thought I'd be cheap and get around it, but no, but it won't work. I was trying, guys. I was trying to be cheap. So they need to collect mechanical parts. Now it will do that. So it's a lot of frog hopping. If you like that, that's what it does. Now, do you need to always frog hop? No, but these do get low after a while. We have a million of them. Being more efficient with them in the future will be the way above it. Now, what do we have today? We have a wonderful Madagascar vanilla tea with coconut milk. It's absolutely delightful. Okay, let's come on up here. So this is going well. 
And now are we starting a stockpile? Because I swear to goodness, if you people don't get it together. See, it's not, it's not really stockpiling that much. Let's do 10 more trucks there. We need to keep the waste down and we're doing a great job. So this is one of the most important aspects is keeping this empty. Empty, empty, empty. And the organic waste is actually full here. I just noticed that. Now, why is that not pulling from there? Is it because there's not one here? That should pull from there. See, I don't know why in some of these spots it's not working as well as it should. The way that this should work is this produces organic waste from the, the human waste that it gets. That waste should then offset and be taken into here, which takes the metal waste. But as you see right here, it's not, the organic waste is full, but it's not taking it. There, now it is. I think we're doing okay, but it seems like we could do a little better there. If you go further out too, you can't cheat. So you can see it's over here. It's not gonna work. Now I tried this before, because I thought, oh, we'll put the waste further away from the city. Oh no, the game goes, if it's not connected, it ain't working. So it got all pissy. So I was like, all right, I'll put it back. So I'm gonna put one right there. See, see, see how it's connected? Once it's connected to the thing, we're good to rock. Let's put another one of these guys right here. We want them to pick up the metal waste. So what should happen is, is that this should offset the metal waste. I wanna see if this is actually going down right now. It must. See, the city's waste disposal is at about 80% because these ones right here, as you can see, are completely packed full. And because we haven't made one of these right here. We open that up, now it'll take those both. And then it should, should raise our city waste disposal. In the bottom right hand corner you'll see right now it says city waste disposal limited 50%. We want more, we want more, but it just doesn't care about us. I think it's pulling it now quite quite effectively. It's crazy though, because the waste, the waste is really piling up still. Organic waste. Huh, I just realized something that the organic waste is secondary. And we don't have a thing taking that, do we? This is taking all metal waste, but nothing is taking the other waste. And this has made me realize that now we're going to have to set up two different ones here. One is gonna to have to be the other one. That's quite difficult. So this one right here is going to have to take, I can't take anything. Organic waste takes compounds. See, there it is. And then that in turn will make something. But of course, each one of these, ah, that is difficult. I don't know how we're going to do that. This is what I think though. I think that the kinks are not exactly worked out on some of this. I see what it wants us to do here, but this is the thing is that now we've started a whole new line. We'd have to pull the waste from a different area. And how the heck are we gonna get these ones in here? Once you have it set up with the metal waste, now we have to reset that whole ordeal. That is gonna be difficult. Well, here's the idea. The idea is if it's set up, can I pick it what it's set up? No, it, it has to do both. 
So we're gonna have to redo this again. I don't like how it's making us redo this multiple times. This is getting a little bit annoying. So this takes the metal waste, and now I need to do kind of two of each here. Let's pull this back. Let's get rid of this. I'm gonna start fresh. Let's see, when you're looking at it from one point of view, if it doesn't make sense, just break it on down. Okay, so here's the whole thing. We've got these two sections that are supposed to take off the stupid waste. Come over here, grab your waste disposal, which is there, and start bringing in the waste. Um, just like so. All hunky-dory. So that's definitely nice and built up. Now, we need one of these guys right in the middle of each one of them. So one there. We're going to have him take... Mm, no, that's not even. I'm going to have to have this guy take the organic waste. I'm going to have to have another one, but this one right here is going to have to take metal waste. And then we'll just switch it off just like so. Just like that. Then from this point, now that we've got this working, we've got all of our needs pretty much fixated. We need the recycling centers now to pull in. So the recycling centers are gonna have to pick different things, I guess. So for instance, I don't know what they can do here, but let's see here. We've got 11, one. We'll have this one take organic waste. That one takes organic waste. And then we'll have another one here. Right about there, maybe. We'll have this one take steel bar because it's producing metal. Well, in order for it to happen, it needs nitrogen. So we're going to have to have that set up. And that is going to be taken from these, the ice extractors, which are going to give us the nitrogen. So we're going to actually have to pump flipping compost into this or nitrogen into it to get the compost because it's not going to take out without it. So we set situate right here and we say, okay, take nitrogen or take um, organic waste. Oh, no, wrong one. Compost, sorry. Oh, goodness. So it should... But it's not going to, I don't think. It won't work without the nitrogen. And our population is going to start to go down unless we can figure out how to get rid of these things. So ice extractors extract nitrogen and water from ice. So we need to go to one of the globes. We need to grab ice now from this wonderful area. Just get like a whole fleet of these. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now that we have those, I'm guessing that these are just like anything else. It's going to just take one. We need, of course, um, nitrogen. Because this is what these create. Oh, shoot. I'm on off the stupid thing. So these produce both, actually. Nitrogen and water. Good God, they produce water, okay. So, I'm gonna just break this one down. I'm gonna offset the same thing. We're gonna do water in one, and we're gonna click it again. 
And then we're going to do nitrogen in another. And then just offset it. Just like that. And then hopefully we can bring this stuff up hit up there. Okay, so there's that. That's good and dandy. And now we've got to find a way to kind of bring it together here. I'm thinking our roads are about 518. We still have a lot. And my population will start to dwindle. Look at this. Look how long it would take us to get up there. I feel like restarting these. These are still making trucks. Rails are concrete and steel bar. I'm gonna switch this over to rails. We really do need rails. And this ice extractor was right here. I'm gonna switch that to rails. Uh, can we get concrete to that? I don't know if we can. Mm, the concrete is right there. So one, two. I will say concrete. One, two. Yeah, it's actually getting it there. Um, can it get further though? I feel like we need to put it there, and then there, and there. That should get it to everybody. Okay, there we go. We're, we're gonna need rails for certain here. Yeah. These guys are just, they going ham. Going ham, making that, making that salad. Need steel bar though. What is crazy is with 150 trucks going here, 150, still not enough to bring that in. Which means we, we do more trucks. I mean, that is an absolute crazy amount of trucks. And all these systems are working now. What's funny is, is it's actually making an effect on these guys. I would have never thought that this entire field would have trouble catching up. But it is starting to, you can start to see it. So these right here are making steel bar. I'm gonna make one more there. And can I get to that? Can they get to that? Yeah, they can, okay. That'll keep it up. And we're gonna increase this again. There. Okay, that seems to be pretty good. Got enough trucks that really should be delivering off here. Back down here, this is totally stockpiled. This one has tons ready. And these guys are picking up aluminum bars. And this right here is producing aluminum bar. So let's, let's drop that off. We'll offset that aluminum bar. We'll help him out with doubles. What the heck? There's a bunch of aluminum bar right there, isn't it? Oh, the steel bar needs to get rid of. Goodness gracious. Okay, so steel bar. One two so that should one two yeah that should pull shouldn't steel bar nope doesn't pull from it okay 
So we'll rework this. We'll put that there. Steel bars there. Then one, two. One, two. And we got that one guy cranking out here. It was so much easier when it was just that. But if you want to get bigger, this is what you got to do. These guys are done. I'm... That's kind of a sad day. That's my first... First one totally excavated. Crazy to think. These guys down here have done a really good job. The problem is now they all need to be moved back as well. See, it's the, it's the craziness is keeping up. Once you start, you know, mains sloshing through this, like Giga Chad, you're gonna have to propel this to a point where I don't know if that's, if that's where we wanna go, you know? I don't know if that's where we want to go, but that's, that's what it is. Holy buckets. I don't even know if we can get stuff to that. Um, we'll put one right there and we'll say sulfur. That should help us hit those from those two. Everybody should be getting hit now. We'll put one right there just in case. One right there just in case. Okay. So we're keeping that happy. And the trains are definitely offsetting a good amount. So they're they're keeping it good. Let's see how these extractors are doing now. Um, where did we put that? Good God, where did we put that? Right here. Oh yeah, they were maxed a long time ago. So we need to make a rail. And the rail needs to stretch a very long distance. To bring, of course, water. And things. Can we actually cross over that? Really? Will it allow that? So what happens if we go over it? Oh, they just drive through it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I love how the thing kind of just ka clunk ka clunks. <laughs> it's a it's not the most straightest route in the world. Wow. This is still going to take a train a very long time to get there. But it'll be worth it. So the train will pick up here. It'll then drop off, so it'll just Pull this over here. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna bring that all the way back. Do like a nice little loopage. A nice loopy. Oh yeah. It's gonna be beautiful. Get this all the way back down and then once that's down we'll finally be able to bring the damn nitrogen home so people can start eating food and ask for more stuff that's the way of things that's the way the world works everybody wants more and then they're never happy and they get on some sort of social media and complain about how life is cruel and horrible while they talk on their $1,500 phone. And people who don't have any food watch them on a fat tube TV that the other people that are holding the $1,500 phone haven't even seen because they were so fortunate that they never even had to have a fat tube TV, but they have a $1,500 phone and they're complaining. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we finally ran out of road. We need more roadage. Look at all these guys going to town. We piled up this. Who would ever thought oxygen? Just didn't have a way to deal with it. Well, we're 
recycling center. Really, what does the recycling... Can the recycling center get rid of that? I guess I should have checked. No. It doesn't get rid of that. That would have been nice, though. I'd like to get rid of my water. Thank you. So this is, you know... Clunked. Oh, wow. Look at that. Finally ran out. Our temperature is almost increased, by the way, as well. Got that one last one to it. Look at these, these guys. All we need now is to fill it full of some fluorite. And where the crackage would we get fluorite? That's a hard one to find. Fluorite does not appear very many places, does it? Is that fluorite? No, that's aluminum. What the heck? Are you turning blind now? Where is fluorite? Where is it? That's sulfur. Holy crap. Once the fluorite goes... It's... Yeah, there's not a lot of flow right now, is there? I'm having a hard time finding any. That's aluminum. Where the crap is the fluorite? <laughs> this is nuts. Where the heck is it? My planet does not have it. What the crappage? Okay, now I'm getting a little cranky. A little, a little angry. We're looking for this stuff right here. So what, what does that look like? Um, oh, it doesn't even show. That's sulfur. It's right there. Woza. Talk about some little tiny patches. And holy crap, it's far away. So that's one spot there. There is nothing in this whole vicinity. Okay, we just figured the game end. It must be, look at this, just tiny little fragment spots of it. Now it's popping up, I'm seeing it, but man, oh man, there is not a lot of that. I see one, okay, so there's two, so there's one there, there's one there, but on this side of the map is what I'm looking for. You gotta be kidding. Oh, it was right there. Okay, so it's up there. Um, we need to bring it there. That's still a long, long way. Goodness. How are these guys doing? Rails. It's full, so they're definitely coming along, but they need more steel bars is the problem. The steel bars are being taken by that to keep that self-sufficient. Oh, I just cannot believe it. At 200 trucks, we still can't bring enough. Because now this is out. Oh my god, really? How in the hell did that run out? These guys can't produce enough off of that? All right, I'm going ham. I'm going ham now. We don't need this many, but eventually we will. Game is starting to play hardcore on me. Everything's running out and I'm getting sick of it. There we go. There we go, there we go. Say hello to that. Okay. One, two. We're going to do iron ore. Does it need one in there? Yeah, it does. It needs one there. There. Does it... Can it get to that one? Yeah, it can. Okay. And that goes there. See how we frog leap around? Become a little more efficient with these. That one can go there. 
This should bring us right around. So these puppies should get really full fast. They should start be making that steel bar instantly. Let's go here. I do not have all day. But I am going to make sure everybody is upgraded. Which it looks like everybody is. Okay. There, that's much better. Get those trucks going. Even this guy, he can't even get any. But they, they are coming now. There's a lot of drip dropping off now. We'll help refill this whole area. Starting to pile up now. One, two, okay, that can get there. I don't know if we've got, I mean, they're bringing stuff as fast as they can. Should we double up? I guess we'll just double up. What the heck? I'm, I'm all in now. Let's maximize. Let's go crazy. Let's go nuts. It's a party. Should probably not be wasting it though. Can't be wasting it. No, don't be wasteful. That is making a lot faster, though. Oh, goodness. Quit quit wasting. Stop. I know her. There. That should really be stacking these now. And then this one was there. And then there and over here we can take another two of these factories iron ore these should all be making that and then we'll duel up here and there Doing anything. Well, we're trying to suck it down as fast as possible. We're bringing it home. The thing is, even with the amount that we're bringing, it's just not fast enough. It's almost like we need an MK3. Wowza. I'm steamrolling this thing right into that. Still having problems. Wow, sir. Oh, gosh. I just got rid of that dang thing. Put it back up there. There we go. And we'll fill in the gaps here. Iron ore, iron ore. And we'll put this right around it, maybe. Just like that. This is really overkill, but I'm trying to get the product there. What I'm not understanding is why these are not moving around. Why are they allowing that? It's like they're moving it back and forth, but they should be going in one direction. Around. See what I mean? They're they're taking it and they're moving it back and forth. Like what the what's going on here? I, that's making no sense. Why are you guys doing that? So a little bit of directional would would help. So now they're bringing it here and they're bringing that there. No, I don't want that like that crazy monkey. We need it to pull in one direction. Okay, so let's let's not let's not do that. 
it's not connect the two. Maybe that's the key. So it goes in one direction. Yeah, that's just not really working. I'm thinking that... Because they're kind of just moving it back and forth. Look at that. See, they're picking it up here. And they're picking it and then putting it back over there. But it should be going in one direction. I'm not understanding why they're doing it that way. Well, this is, I guess, what happens when you have that many of them. You're trying to get things to work. Huh. Well, let's see if we can get the rails here. At least something done. There's a lot of problems when you get big like this. That's what I'm starting to realize. Maybe life was a lot easier when we were just a small little inhabitants. Now that we've got much larger and bigger, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Just gotta keep together. Things will get better. Things will get better. Maybe. All right, so at this point, we're gonna take one of these trains and we're going to take, we're gonna draw, well, drop that off there. We're gonna drop off water, no, nitrogen. Nitrogen first, we need the nitrogen. I could care less about the other stuff. Um, nitrogen, let's drop that off there. And then that needs to be picked up here. And the nitrogen, of course, needs to be picked up. Right from this point, we need a truck, which is here, to pick up the nitrogen and to take it all the way up here to the nitrogen spot. And see, how the heck are we gonna get that to work? This is gonna be a pain in the butt because when we have this many, uh, we should figure this out first. So this right here is gonna take the compost from this. This right here needs nitrogen and each one of these needs it. So let's let's work it out here. Um, we'll offset this. So this one, metal waste. Nope, that one's doing metal waste. That's not what I wanted. Get out of here. This one right here, offsetted. And offsetted. And then this one. And this one. So that should take care of each one of those. And then we just need to do the same thing we did here just over again so like right here this is going to take compost that's gonna be compost okay and then this one right here should take this or whatever and then of course this nope it's not gonna make it now because it has to be two son of a cracker this is gonna be a pain in the butt I guess we could pull the compost in. Try that. We'll bring the compost in. Here. Here. Here, here, and here. Okay. And now this one right here, steel bar, needs to go That one is making compost, so that's going there. But it also does, it needs nitrogen. Okay, I think we've got this almost worked out. Steel goes there. Aluminum goes there. Fair enough. We'll see how this works out.
I need to somehow make that closer. So there's that. This one can get to there. That one can get to there. That one gets to there. Really, this screwed up the order right there. Get rid of those. That goes there. That goes there. This goes there. That goes there. Right, I think we have that worked out good. Now we need to get the compost out. Um, compost is going to be a problem. We need to get nitrogen in, compost out. So how are we going to do this? Because it has to be an offset of two. These can go two spots. Or they're not connected. See, this is what I don't understand how it wants me to get that the hell out of there. Technically, yes, the compost will go two. So we could do one over, but that still isn't going to work. And we can't put it in back because that's the filler. Well, these, well, no, 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 let's take that back. These need compost. These do not. But to connect them, we do. Unless we want to take them that way. Uh, that's just... No matter how I look at this, it's just not going to work in the offset of it. We're going to have to figure out some way to get it in the combination. So if I take this, put this here, and we'll say whatever. Uh, nitrogen is going to be here. Where's the nitrogen? Is it up here? Right there. So that's going to be a nitrogen. I'm going to take this. I'm going to connect that. So, and I'll say there. And then from this road here, I'm going to have a truck pick up the nitrogen and drop it off there. Nitrogen. So that baby's going. That's a double truck. How did we get a double truck there? That was weird. Oh, I see. It's just not it's just on top of another truck. <laughs> okay. So these are going to come up. They're going to drop this off, which is going to get it to there. How are we going to do that, though? We're just not going to... We're not going to be able to get it. That's the problem. It's gonna, These are just going to have to be these ones. Um, what is this? Metal waste? Yeah, change these to this. Get rid of these. We got one of them now working. Okay. So this one's now working. It's going to offset compost. Compost is going to go... Uh, we'll say... There. Compost. One, two. Okay. I don't know how we're going to get that to work because there... We need another... We need to burn the organic matter quite quickly. I guess dualies of this. Dualies. One, two. And hopefully that'll work. I still don't see it, it offsetting the organic waste though. Uh, we could go triple.
and then it just needs nitrogen. We'll boost that up to 20 trucks, which are waiting on this. And I need to bring, I don't know, let's, let's do a couple big trains. How long are they taking to get here anyway? Where is that train? Oh, it's hardly even getting filled with the nitrogen. <laughs> Let's fill the train, please. That would be nice. Oh my gosh, is it broken now? I've just broken the train. Son of a cracker. You know, nothing is working tonight. That's what I feel like. Nothing is going to plan. Oh, it might be okay. We put that back and it looks like it's okay. All right, let's, let's add on there. Good. How's this going? Everything's looking nice. Nice and stacked. These can't even drop anything off. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay. So now we can start to uh, offset this. Because remember this, we don't need to use. So we're gonna turn this off now. See if we can just run off of the renewable. Here, do I have to do that? Let's just say none. There we go. Let's see how those trucks do. The good thing about it is, is now we can stockpile this baby up. We'll fill that one up and then we're ready to go. We're ready to rock. Um, let's do... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going dualies from now on, no matter what. Dualies, steel bars. Where are you? There. I'm gonna do those. I'm gonna really offset so we don't really run out again. Just in case, for the future. And on both sides, we'll just have this. The trucks come pick it up. They have a boatload, you know what I mean? Right now, we're gonna see if we can live off of the renewable, which would be cool because if we can, that'll be very helpful. Now we need to come back here and look at what everything that's going on here. So again, the food is what we're trying to get to, trying to get to the food. The compost is coming up slow though, because the nitrogen is not here. And the nitrogen will be getting here, but it takes hella long, even with this, with these fast moving trains to get there. It really does. Oh. There's another one. This, these are babies are full though. These are stacked. So that's definitely gonna hit the compost. The problem is we need to get rid of the flipping water. It's just like the oxygen. It is a pain in the butt. Something needs to take the oxygen, and right now I don't know what what is needed to do that. I have not. I'm kind of. We're kind of stuck at that point. Um, so we can get probably enough food for a little bit, but it's not sustainable. What I can do is, is I'm thinking, thinking that this next thing will maybe take the water. So, let's see here. Grow fruit is steel bar and polymer. That's how you build it. What does it take to make it? You know what I mean? Like, let's see. Let's just click this. So, this takes the water and compost. Okay, so that makes sense. But again, that doesn't take the flipping oxygen. What eats the oxygen? That's what I need to know. And that's what I haven't been able to figure out. Um, 
These don't take the oxygen. Nothing's taking the oxygen. I should just go and look. Because that's... Um, but we can get this other patch here. Where is it? Where the heck is that other patch? Was it up here? Oh, there it is. There's one there and one there. And we can route these puppies down now. Let's hope we've got enough rail. 405. Yeah, it takes a while to make that rail. I will say that. Even with all these babies going, I mean, they're all stacked, right? Stacked, stacked. Oh, it needs steel bars. Oh, it's okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. There you go. Should be able to get over to you now. And that should up your production. And we'll do steel bars there. And then these guys, what were they working on? Mechanical? Um... They're working on steel bars. Interesting, okay. Concrete and steel bars. These guys were taking that from what? Assembly plants. Uh, that's if we want to switch it back on to making these. I guess we could do that. We had it here because I think the assembly, if we look in here, the, um, the factories we can make made mechanical parts. So we put that there earlier to make that. Right now, I just want to make rails. It's pretty much all I've got. Just make me as much rail as possible. Rail me, baby. Rail me. Let's come on up here. That thing is totally stacked. Perfect. I'm gonna offset these. Get that whole drop off. Perfect. Now we need a separate train. And we can probably bring down the rail cars. Well, nah. We'll keep it fitted. Where did we put that one greenhouse, by the way? I clicked it. And now oh, I forgot where I put it. Um, let's put it down here. Well, the thing is, it needs water, right? So let's go over to the greenhouse, 34. So it needs water if we just, um, oh goodness. Get out of there. Get out of here. It needs compost and it needs water. So we have to hit like the halfway mark, to be honest. That's seriously gonna be it. That's crazy that that's where it went. That's kind of where it needs to be. And there's the, this long road, of course. And that was going where? What was that even doing? I think we we're going to take it to there. But this could be good. This could be good. It, it's going to take a while to get there. But then we've got food. And we can build up the food, maybe in a while, which will allow us to build, but sustaining, that's the problem. We need to get it there faster. Cause I've got to take that water from this damn place all the way up there. And even with the rails that we're making right now, it's just not a, you know, I need tons of rail. Tons of it. Look at these guys, totally stacked. That's what I'm talking about, you know? Totally stacked. You guys rock. Let's make more of that, make more rail. That one right here. That one right there. What does these need? They need concrete. I need to get concrete over here. Isn't that concrete right there? Yeah, it's sitting right next to concrete. It, oh, steel bars. That's what needs to get over here. Okay. 
I'll bring steel bars over. Just hold your horses. Hey, right, goodbye, factory. Goodbye. We need to use this room for steel bars. Sorry. Um, I'll leave just one of these. And then I'm going to put one right there. And that way should... We should be able to make enough rail now. Good God, I would hope. Rail me, rail me, rail me. Um, let's put that there. And I'd say there, and I'd say there. And then in each one of those spots, we can put another one of these. The good thing about it is, is now we're using up a ton of that. Now we can start to turn this back on. We can offset um, this spot right here. Start adding in some a little bit more. We had tons of trucks going here, so let's go back here, grab the truck. I should have kept it just open. Drop that off. Steel bar, and we'll we'll stack it again. Um, I wish we could just click in here like a hundred. That would be cool. Just to click in there. Give me a hundred. Sacagawea, you know? I'm gonna say like right around there. A hundred will fulfill that pretty good. Then we can just slowly back off. Cause I'm, I'm over killing it with the rail right now, but I wanna get this moving. What's funky is, is this still hasn't, still hasn't taken all that stuff. Oh, because it's taken it from here. See, I would have thought this would have emptied out. That's one thing. I want a button that just says, I want this empty. So I don't waste the material. That would be a bonus, I think. Something like that. Um, these trucks is just overkill at this point on this section. We've got these trains already. I'm gonna take back my trucks. I'm gonna let the trains take care of it. We'll see how they do. I think that they're gonna probably be just fine considering they're coming back with still product on the damn table. I'm gonna take these, um, uh, yeah, we're gonna get rid of it. Get rid of it, and then just in case, things get nasty. We're gonna click back on here. Bring it all the way back here. Drop off there. And sulfur. So far, the trains, I think, will be fine. Holding that region. Fluorite. Um, that's the thing that we're gonna work on right after we get the flippin' water up here. So this little baby, needs water and we need to take the compost from this baby all the way down there and I'm not gonna do a rail through this whole area I could but I don't know should we do that should we do another rail right through the damn thing let's first let's see how much rail it's gonna take to get the damn water up here all right here we go grab it there we go, we'll fly. All right, all the way up here. This is about the halfway mark. I'd say so. I'm gonna top, yeah, drop it off like right there. And then bring her on back. Um, let's, we keep it somewhat together. I don't want it intertwined like that. I, I wish it would just, I guess not. Yes, it's going to be a slow process. Just slowly but surely bringing the rail back to to life. All right, just like that. Okay, there we are. Uh, there we are. There's, there's that. Still got to go one hell of a distance, but... At least it's picking itself up, you know? 
Gotta give it to it. It's trying. Um, it still doesn't like it. So something's wrong somewhere. Where is something wrong? There? Will you allow me now? No. Well, what, what's your problem? Where is the rail not connected? Why is it having it issues? Frickin' frack! Right there. John! What's going on? Playing a little bit of this game, and we're having loads of confusion. But the thing is, it's coming together. That's what matters. I've had both of my friends in here, Sin tonight and you now. This is great. It's good to see everybody. I'm gonna get this dropped off here. Do you know about this game, John? You ever played it? It's actually quite fun. It's quite fun, but it's like satisfactory, but if it was like an RTS. That's gonna drop off there. And now we can we can do this, right? Did we send a train yet? I don't think we did. Okay. Let's do that. Let's grab the train. We're going to tell the train that we want it all the way here. We want it to drop off there, the water. Finally, after a long week, I got to sleep eight hours. RTS. Um, so think of this game as if, in a way, in a way it really is, it has these tier levels like Satisfactory, but it's from a strategy perspective because it's not sustainable. Um, but it's less sustainable than Satisfactory. Satisfactory, you could really pull, um, a, well, for a very long time or forever, I think it was limitless at some of the, the mining, right? Some of the mining was like, like limitless. It just never ran dry. This one does. So each one of these little sections here is gonna run out eventually. And you're building one product into another, just like Satisfactory. So boom, I take that iron ore, I put that into a steel bar. That steel bar, I then make, they take the steel bar, they bring it all the way down here where I've got my mega factory here. Here they're making concrete. I need to make reinforced concrete. So they make the, you know, they bring it together and that's what you're doing. The same exact sort of thing as you would have done in Satisfactory in a first person perspective, but now it's this. In a way, kind of like Factorio as well. It's it's that same sort of thing. Factorio probably would be a better example, I would say, because it's a little bit more of that perspective. But I find that it's like satisfactory in a way that it gets more and more complicated with the recipes. And the recipes really are continuing to increase the economy. So it started off real simple with what it needed. And if you remember in Satisfactory, it had that thing, if you ever played it, where you had to bring it items that it needed to get to the next tier. That's kind of what the supply center is in this. It's saying to you, okay, yeah, to get to the next tier, I need reinforced concrete, I need oxygen, I need high-tech parts. Then, after you get to that tier, it says, okay, to get to the next one, you need food. As those tiers increase, so does your economy. So right now, we're stuck at 10.8K. We want to get higher. We need to provide food. So that's what we're trying to do. Pretty much. Um, let's see here. I'm going to take this road. I'm going to connect that road to there. Ugh, I don't like that. Take that out of there. Good God. Um, let's see here. Ah, is that really the way it's gonna go? I guess, whatever. We'll just have to go with it. All right, so this truck is gonna come all the way down here. Good God. All the way down here. And it tells me actually that there's no way to get there because that road's not connected. Ah! I see, see, that would be problematic. So this road right here, we're gonna bring the compost to, and we're basically doing the halfway mark. I should probably do a rail. 
or we're gonna have an offset of timing. So let's do another rail. And yes, I know this is gonna be really weird, but I think the rail can go through stuff that it probably shouldn't be able to go through. But for now, it allows it. We could take the train from the other direction, so at least would look more realistic. Let's do that. That at least looks more realistic. Let's take it through here. Um, out this way. But I think, though, it contains our city if we wrap this around it. That's why it might make sense to actually go this way. What the hell? We're going to go through it. Bring it down here. And bring it further, all the way down to here. Okay. Now I need to. You want to now do basically like a wrap around for this train system, and we're gonna do the same thing. It is not exactly nice on how it makes these trains. Now, see, this is what I don't like, but. Think of it this way, that the train is pretty much higher. I wish it had something that made it look a little bit more cool, but that's kind of what they got. Anyway, so you continue on, you keep building it and stuff like that. Just like so. Bring it all the way back here. All the way into here. And then this is going to be a problem because we're going to have to twist around that. How do we get... Yeah, I guess we're going to have to go around. So go around this way. Take it there. And then through. Can I make it through there? Yeah, I can. There. Perfect. Now I'm going to tell that train... I want that train to pick the compost up and bring it all the way back down to here. And we're gonna drop it off, preferably there. And now we click compost. Simple as that. We'll shave that off so it's nice. It needs robots to offset it. So we're gonna put a compost right there for it to offset. And now all of this work has went into just making this greenhouse we literally had to come down here we had to build these freaking things to get the nitrogen and the water from the ground to build these was a process i mean it's it's crazy that that entire system is seriously just for this and you can't really do it differently because it has to take from the ice. So they put it far away from you for a reason. And I just thought, well, this is kind of like the halfway mark. Because <laughs> this thing is here. That thing is there. That to me, this was the easy, simple thing. And so now all we're doing is we're waiting on the transport. So to increase the size of the train, we'll just right click here. And that then increases the train size. Um, you have to make the trains as well. So everything is made from a part that you, of course, have before. So, for instance, right here, we're making the ice extractor. That's what we're building. We don't need to build any more of those. So I'm going to just tell it um, to stop. And I think there is not really a stopping button, which would be nice. But what I usually do is just go like this. And then that stops it from making it. Um... Oh, goodness, we were actually looking for some of this fluoride. This is really great. So this fluoride is really powerful because this is used to heat up the atmosphere. So you're probably wondering, you're like, well, what's up here? Well, this is what we were increasing. But this is one of the rarest substances on the planet. This creates the greenhouse. And with the greenhouse effect, we're able to warm up this planet. Up, oh, you see where it's going warm of the planet which turns it green we already went through one of them right here and these are these wonderful greenhouse gas generators we've got more than enough concrete to last us probably a very long time i mean it's still going on over here 
Um, but we need to get that flow right. So that is the next thing. And then to get a train to pop up and grab that and bring it home. Um, and I, I tell you, to be honest, I probably should not have a rail through it because for how rare that thing is, we can go from there or we can grab this one right here. And I think that this one, we should just bring it home. That's what I think. So what you do is you come in, you build your extractors. I have so many that I'm just gonna do this to get the entire piece of it. Once you're running this whole thing, you're then gonna put one of these down and you're gonna say, hey, I want you to pick up the fluorite. These ones are MK2, so they do two spots each, which are really nice. So you can just do one there, you can do one there, and you see what I mean. You can wrap around the whole area. And that's kind of what I've done to offset it. It doesn't work as great as I would like because sometimes they just go back and forth. And I want them to take it around to where they're supposed to be dropping it off. So all we gotta do now is take a rail from there to there. And we're good, we're golden. So let's go do that. Let's grab our rail, which are, they're doing considerably well. I wanna see how that's actually doing, by the way. Are we doing okay? We do not wanna run out of reinforced concrete. So if I start seeing that, then I cut off on the rails. But right now, it looks like the rails are doing just about dandy. So what you do is you come up here, Run the same exact system. So we're gonna run that all the way down here. Um, it's going kind of a funky distance, but that's okay. I need it to go right about, might as well just take it right to the spot. Is that okay? Yeah, that looks like it's just fine. All right, so let's pop it out like there. I wish I could make the train look, gosh dang it. That looks like crap. What am I, Dr. Seuss? Okay. Dr. Seuss, everything was always going everywhere. I love Dr. Seuss books. See, I don't like that at all. That's the only problem. I wish they had some sort of key where it would... Does shift allow that? No, nope, shift doesn't do anything different either. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll bring it on back now. I'm gonna run this thing. So it does, it allows each train to kind of go through each other. Which is fine. We can have multiple trains using each other. That's all right. I would like to not have them overlap like that. Keep my sanity high. And let's go around the mountain. Let's go through it. Right there. Grab that around again. We'll come through this side. We're gonna pick that up now. And now, if we've done it right, if everything's right, okay, good, everything's right now. Now we're gonna come all the way back down here and tell it to drop off there, the fluorite. And this should get us to 30. Should get us to 30. I don't think we should have any more problem with it. Let's get rid of these bad boys. So you kind of get a few of the MKs back too, because once you, you know, fully consume one area, you can just jump to the next, which is nice. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna grab this, and I'm gonna say, hey, I would like a little fluoride. And I use doubles on the train because the train is stacked like three each for one subsection versus just these ones. It's just one at a time. One on the train is like three, I think. This makes it easy. Okay, so this is good. Each thing is getting stacked here. We're able to run a recycling system. Like I said, it's quite sophisticated. This is a recycling system that also needs to be in place or the place won't build. Right now, we're at city disposal, which is 75%. Oh no, waste disposal is 100%. City supply is limited, which is 75% because it needs, oh, you guessed it, food. We need to get food and we, or we can't do that. Another problem is I'm gonna have to have drop off somewhere here. So let's drop 
this and let's make that the food. So that's the fourth option. Now we need to come all the way back here. Yeah, you guessed it. We need to get this damn food back to us. And it's stacked already. Look at that. So I wonder how long it takes us to do the food here. How long does it take to make a food item? It's pretty quick. So I've thought of a new idea. I've thought of moving this to somewhere a little bit more accessible. Because if we don't, I mean, how are we going to get the truck in there? You know what I mean? We could do a train, I guess, right here. That'll get us food. And the trucks are fine for now. But I'd like to eventually do rails to each one. We can do a rail there. I wonder how much the trains can overlap. That's my question. Well, let's just try it. I mean, it's faster, right? Let's come on down here. Let's get our rail system. We're now going to grab this rail system, bring it all the way up here. And see, so this is where I'm going to run into some problems. I need to get it in there. So let's bring it to, let's see here. Let's bring it there. I'm gonna bring it in here. I'm gonna get rid of some of these buildings. Sorry people, you had to move. Let's do this here. And then, is that gonna allow me to wrap around it? No, see, I think I need it bigger. Get rid of that. Uh-oh. How do I delete that? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, we reached level 13. Tempered metal. Damn, elemental. And a pumping station. Well, we've done it. We've reached the 13th level, and that's what I wanted to do tonight. Let's uh, reconnect those. And I want to get the food off. That's the last thing I want to do. And then we'll call it a night, guys. So let's bring this uh, over here. And then it needs to wrap around there. Let's get rid of that one. Pull this one over here. And down here. And where are we going here? We're going right there, okay. Uh, you know, if it, if it if it's fine going right through it, then I guess that's what I'll do. It looks a little weird. I'd like the animation a little bit better, but that's okay. I'm gonna come down to here, and then intertwines. Not right there. Here. Not a road. Wrong one. Down, and then over. And then get rid of both sides. There. So, final one, guys. What we did all of this for, all of this, was just to get the food there. <sighs> but I feel great about it. I do. That should offset it. And let's give him a good full train. And like I said, I think he's going to eventually work on this. Something should be making the trains. I don't know what was making the trains again. Oh, look at that. There it is. That's the compost. And why is the compost coming back? Oh, is it not offsetting it at all? Let's see here. Oh, it's not. It needs a little more room here. Since it's going to be taking tons of compost, we'll help it out a little bit. No, no, no. Take, take off the compost, you crazy man. There. And then this should be able to go all day. It just needs water. And water, we don't have much of a train system here going. So let's pump that up to... I don't know. 
We'll use the remaining of the trains for that. That's back overflow. Come on, this is the big point. I want this. There we go. Now they're filling the trains fully with water. Yes. Yes, this was so worth it. This train system is bringing the nitrogen. If I would have known I could just drop the nitrogen and, and make my train in there, I would have done this differently. And then in the future, when we do another one of these, but this was right from the beginning. I didn't know how to do crap. But this is it, guys. This is it. This is the drop off right here. Here it is. And you're gonna see the population is gonna skyrocket. Because all we needed is to get that food. No, 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 get that food off. The food off. Get it. Come on. Work, work for me here. See what I mean? You need extra droids to kind of get it off. There we go. Now it's taking the food off. There it is. Come on, the food's there. Population's up. There we are. And 11,000. Yes. Now, of course, we're going to need another big train here. Um, two is available, so let's pop that off. What is making the trains, if you want to know? And if you don't want to know, then forgive me for telling you, okay? Um, where did I put that? Where did I put was making the trains? I don't remember. I had it somewhere. I thought it was here. Here it is. So this is making the trains. The mechanical parts, it needs a little bit more of. So we're just going to up that to 20, we'll give it like 30. And this makes all of our trains, of course, connect together. So what do you think, John? You've seen the game. Is it a game that you would get into? Oh, I don't even have that doing anything. I need to do something with that. That's kind of ridiculous. Wow, but look at the stockpile on this. That is crazy. For future, future time when I'm sure that we'll probably need it. We've got it. <laughs> so this is going good. Um, this is getting, you know, a pretty good amount of steel bar. This is burning mainstream like crazy. I don't know why that's not filling up here. Um, but what I will do is I'm going to try to mainstream the sulfur there. Let's get rid of all these. And then we just need one going here. Uh, dropping off the sulfur. John says it is relaxing and chill to watch. I personally don't play this type of games, but I find watching uh, stream about. It. Oh, okay. Yeah, I. It was something that I had seen pop up, and I thought, well, I don't know how people will think of it because it's more relaxing. I think I like a a contrast. And my my girlfriend. She was like, well, I'd like, you know, I want to watch a game, but I don't want to watch the horror games because they'll scare me. I'm like, okay. So I had this game for her, some other people that wanted to see that. Uh, another one of the people, they like more of the relaxing game. And then I'm going to go back to the Sons of Forest. And then we're going to be starting uh, the third game here. Uh, I'll tell you, actually, I'm going to be playing. Uh, let's see here what it is. I think I just had it up just recently. I'll tell you. The third game that I will be playing is The Outer Worlds. Yeah. So if you like that game, that is going to be the third game that we start. Um, Sons of Forest, of course, will continue. But um, this train system is not bringing enough now. What's going on here? Oh, they got to be moved back. I was like, what the heck is going on? And they can't, uh, they can't produce anything. Really, what we need is one in there. That's where we need one. Sulfur. 
and get rid of that one because there's stuff on there. I like it that it doesn't get rid of that, which is kind of nice. So let's redo this second area there and then get rid of these other ones I wish there was an easier way to get rid of these but that's pretty much what the game does you take down one line then you come back you do another one so it is a, it's a very amazing chill game that I think but what would you like to see John like if you could pick a game that you'd like to see me play what game would it be I'll play whatever um, I've been asking my subscribers and people like what do they want to see next i mean this was kind of the direction that i was thinking was outer worlds would be one of the next games uh to play i had talked about hogwarts i didn't see too many people talk about that game because it it's been kind of overplayed in the game community but what do you think what do you want to see played let me know that's what i want to know That should help them out good enough, I think. These ones need one. That one needs one. That one needs one. Uh, I think these are doing good. Why are these not gripping here? There we go. Two on two there. Is that too many spaces? Yeah, it is. There, now it's fully wrapped around. And that should be better. There, now it's going. These guys... These guys were actually making concrete at one time. Crazy. I don't need them anymore. Just offsetting that, we're just really bringing it all to one spot still is having a hard time but oh no it's getting a f almost a full train almost a full train i just need to grab these a little bit more here grab that one there get that on the truck So what I mean is, is it doesn't exactly go in the perfect circle that I'd like it to. Sometimes they're moving it not in the right direction. But usually they get it. But you see how they kind of, they take it back and it's like, I want you to go that way with it. That way, okay? Um, it's a straight line, hopefully, that they can figure it out. Uh, I don't think anything in here can get that. Is that one, two, the space is out. One, two, there we go. And I'm sure my idea will evolve on how to do this, but for right now that's working. We're doing about a full train to these guys. And that is working. Like they're having a hard time offsetting that train, so. Let's do another one there. Really get those trains offsetted. There. That should work good. And then we've got to get the freaking concrete over there. That's problematic. We didn't have a problem before. I don't know. To be honest, I haven't been uh, looking new games lately. I don't. Oh, you haven't been playing anything recently? Well, you know what, whatever people want to see, if they post in sometime when you see something cool, or if you want to show me a game, that's another one. Um, maybe you haven't even played it, but that could be something. It's a game that nobody plays. I don't care what it is, I'll check it out. Um, I like new stuff. I mean, somebody uh, told me about this game, and I would have never even seen the game. Um, it was quite a small developer, so interesting. It's one thing about this game, though. Time flies by. I can't believe what time it is. And I always think, oh, yeah, that's enough. Okay, so this is the problem now. That, okay, so that's getting stacked, and eventually it should pull over. 
Let's see if that's what happens. We're gonna see here. I might need to build another one here. This, the trains are getting stacked, so they should offset. So then this should bring it over here once this gets full. kind of doing it another one this is overkill but I need it to get over here because I need I got trucks waiting on this place do you ever uh, seen rival star horse racing I kind of interest on that game rival stars horse racing no let's take a break and let's go look at this Go restore. One second, and let's see here. I'm gonna bring up this game. Window capture. There we go. Okay, let's go look at this. So what we got here is rival. Let me get this. Let me move that chat box. I got the chat box like literally right over what I'm trying to type. Rival stars. Racing, okay. Let's take a look. Um, let's shut the... Sound, you must go right now, okay? Sound, trying to play a video, and you're, you know, wonderfully... Enough. There we go. Let's see this. Oh. It's a nice stallion. Breed and create your ideal horses. I have never seen a game like this. Patterns and markers, coat colors. Saddles! Oh yeah, look at the beauty. Complete an online mile play. Oh, you can race them too? I have never played a game like this. I can't say I've ever seen a racing horse game. This is awesome. Very, it's a high budget game put together here. Looks like some good graphics. You can have multiple different horses. Okay. Rival Stars Horse Racing. All right. Very interested. And the next one up is American Trucker. Simulation. Oh, I want to see what this is like. Six AM leaving home. You know, I love this feeling. The smell of the road in the morning. The color of the dust cloud behind my trail. The deep voice of the mighty beast <laughs> I'm driving. All that weight and responsibility I got hanging behind me. This is what we are. What you are. This guy can beat. All right. It's sunny side Let's up crank on the shaky side. Easy over in Dago. Yeah. Get yourself an omelet in Bay City. Yeah, I don't know. It's all scrambled in neon in Dice City. Huevos Rancheros in Los Angeles. Catch you on the flip-flop. You got a copy? Still on the road? I'm lost in the City of Angels. On the 
road. Still on the road. Man. Thousands of deliveries. Millions of tons. Every day, night, rain or shine. I tell you something. We must not stop. We must not slow down. It's not driving, it's trucking. All right. That is pretty cool. All righty then. Very interesting. Um, this one has overwhelming positivity. It's from 2016. That, wow, overwhelming. So it must have been very popular. So he says, yeah, until Rob was started, I never saw another one. And uh, competent derby game besides you, you, I don't even know how you say that. You mass zoom? But we don't talk about that one. Why is the reason you don't talk about that one? Is that on you? I'm not seeing that. U M A M. U S U M. And what what is that game? And why didn't they talk about it? What's this conspiracy? <laughs> and America Trucker has multiplayer too. Really. Well, that is really interesting. I must say that is something else. Um, the Derby game. Like, I've seen trucker games before, but I've never seen that. That seems to be pretty dang cool. So I'm pumped to check it out. Um, that would be a cool one to... But the thing is about Rival, I've never seen a game like that. Um... Like, I've seen it where you, like, take care of, like, golf courses and stuff. And I, I would guess that they had one for each one. But that one is really put well together. And horses is something that I don't know much about. I don't know much about the derbies, but I kind of would like to get involved with it and figure it out. I think it'd be pretty cool. So, all right, guys. That's going to be uh, it for me tonight. I hope you had a very fun time. Um, just to show... Um, the last thing here on the game, we hit 11,346. Um, so a little bit about one more K than what we need. And then the food is about coming in. So we're going to leave it there. And if you want to know what we need to do is basically reach a population of 1,000 in the next city. Um, so to do that, we're currently, I think, uh, what is it at? Currently, we are... Does it say here? Annual supply. Oh, 867. So not very far off, and we'll, and we'll make it to that next spot. So I hope you guys liked the game. Um, just to show you, even though I have been playing for this long that is all that i have done in this map my city is right here and my dream is to get the entire thing fully filled the problem that i see is is that some of these things um mainly into the concrete eventually those are gonna run out because this does run out and it's not a renewable source. So I don't exactly know what happens. How long would it take? Does it take forever? You know, maybe not. Uh, the horse derby community on gaming had have a have it rough. Oh, yeah, I'll check out whatever. Um, I'll put that down. That'll be a next game that I check out, see how I can figure it out and it'll be a new experience for me and that's what i love about gaming is that you get to try something different um that's if i've played so many games that are the same i need to branch out need to try something so without further ado let's save it there thank you guys so much for the night have a wonderful one uh don't don't look at oh don't don't look at that other one huh Oh, okay. Well, I won't look at it. Yeah. But now I'm kind of interested, so I kind of want to look at it because now I'm wondering what's going on here. What's happening over there, John? What do you got me thinking? All right. Have a good one. Good night.